Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and today we're going to do a smackdown between two Android tablets that are actually quite different even though they both run Android, they're both made by Asus. This is the Nexus 7, 7 inch tablet and this is the Asus Transformer Pad Infinity TF700, a 10.1 inch tablet. And we're going to look at them now and see which one's for you. So here we have the Nexus 7 and the Asus Transformer Pad Infinity TF700, two hot new Android tablets. And I can tell you right now, this is going to be a short and sweet smackdown because honestly, in the end, these guys are so different. And there's two big points of difference. One's the price. Nexus 7 is designed to be an affordable tablet, uh, the first affordable actual full-featured 7-inch Android tablet versus something like the Kindle Fire or the Nook tablet, which really is designed more as an e-reader that does some tablet-y kind of things. So it's $199 for the 8 gig and $249 for the 16 gig. Transformer Pad Infinity TF700 is $499 for the 32 gig and $599 for the 64 gig. So obviously, big divide in price here. What's your budget? Um, that's really going to help you decide right there. The second thing is obviously the size. Look at the difference in the size here. I know a lot of you are thinking which one you should buy. And probably the biggest consideration is what do you want to do with the tablet? What size do you need? Do you want something that's really pocketable? Then the Nexus 7 is it. Obviously very portable, nice form factor for reading books on if that's something that's really important to you. And this is more of your full-size screen. This competes more with, say, a laptop computer, 10.1 inch display. You can see a full web page. You don't have to zoom in to read the text. You might find once in a while on this guy that the, the text is still a little bit small. Anyway, lots of room to, to enjoy spread live a little shall we say reading web pages is great on this reading PDFs is great on this not that you can't read a PDF on a Nexus 7 you certainly can but you're probably going to be doing some zooming to make those fonts readable since PDFs really are meant to be read on 8.5 by 11 equivalent pages and the TF700 is going to come a lot closer to that also in terms of portability clearly you're not going to be sticking the Transformer Infinity in your pocket it, it's a 10 inch tablet it may be relatively thin and light it's 1.29 pounds and, and less than a third of an inch, but still, obvious form factor here to carry around. Lastly, are you looking for something that can be sort of a computer replacement for you? Now, Android tablets still can't do everything that our Windows or our Mac can do, but you can certainly do office editing, your web, your email, all that kind of stuff. And if you do that kind of thing, you're going to want a bigger screen, and you're going to want something like a versatile keyboard. Now, you can use Bluetooth keyboards with the Nexus 7 if you want to, and carry around both pieces with you, you're still dealing with that smaller screen. With the Transformer Infinity TF700, you have this optional dock right here. Clip them together, turns into a notebook. You've been there, done that. You've probably seen this in our reviews, but it does like so. Now this dock sells for $149. Bucks. Uh, the, the trick is you can use the Prime TF201 dock, and that's been on clearance for $99 bucks if you want to save a little money while those are still available, but voila, we have just turned it into a sort of notebook computer. This is the kind of thing you don't do with a 7 inch. And lastly, the other thing that goes with size is if you want to watch a lot of movies, it's nicer to watch on a 10 inch screen. However, if you want to watch movies when you're geez, standing in a long line someplace, you want to kill time, this guy's obviously easy to keep in your pocket, portable, you whip it out in 7 inches, it's still a pretty nice viewing experience. Now that we've covered what I think are really the two biggest deciding factors, let's look at some of the details. Both of these run on quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 CPUs. Nexus 7 is clocked at 1.2 GHz, and the Infinity TF700 is clocked at 1.6 GHz. Obviously, it's going to be faster. In general, you spend more money, you're going to get some more creature comforts, which we'll notice with the Infinity. Uh, that said, both of them are very fast, and the Nexus gets a speed jump because it's running Android OS 4.1, which is Jelly Bean versus Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, the, the Transformer is going to get Jelly Bean. We don't know when yet, but Asus has always been very good about getting out OS updates quickly. In fact, they're often one of the first, so it probably won't be too long. But with the Nexus device, you're guaranteed to always be pretty much the first in line for any OS update. But anyway, Jelly Bean has speed optimizations, what Google calls Project Butter, so it makes it very zippy and very fast. So as you're navigating the UI, switching your home screens, doing things like that, they're going to feel equally as fast, and the processor difference is going to be negated there. Now once the Transformer gets Jelly Bean, it'll be interesting to see. Anyway, both of them are supremely fast. They're more than fast enough to play the latest Tegra Zone games to do anything you want, to stream video, to play 1080p video. 
the 1080p video, not so much of a point on the Nexus 7 because it does not have a micro HDMI port. It doesn't have DLNA built in either. That's something that the manufacturers add. Now you can look on the Google Play Store and find DLNA apps. If you can do some wireless streaming, but that's not something that is built in there. So pretty much you might as well stick with 720p unless you want to try some of that wireless streaming. Do wish it had HDMI support though. Also with the Nexus 7, I, I do recommend you get the 16 gig version because it does not have a micro SD card slot and it doesn't have USB host out of the factory. Now, if you want to root it and add a driver, you can get USB host going so you can use flash drives and things like that. So it depends on how technical a user you are if you want to get into routing. I know a lot of Nexus buyers are the more techy inclined types, but this one has a micro SD card slot. You can either use Asus's $15 dongle plugs in down here, it gives you a USB port, or the keyboard dock has a full size USB port with USB host built in. The Asus has a camera on the back, it's an 8 megapixel with LED flash, and it happens to be one of the best cameras we've ever seen on a tablet. It's very good, and it has a front video check camera. Nexus got the front video check camera, and we have absolutely no camera on the back. You can just see plain back. And while we're looking at the backs, flip this guy around, and you can see we have fancy metal here. This is aluminum versus a rubberized back. Now, the Nexus looks like a pretty nice device. It does not look like a bargain basement device, despite the price. But still, you've got your nice fancy metal back here versus rubberized stuff. And on the front, we have Gorilla Glass 2 on the Transformer Infinity TF700. And we just have hardened everyday soda glass on the Nexus 7. Now both of these guys have very high pixel density displays and they're both very sharp for text. We have Google Play books on both of these and you can see either one is going to be a nice reading experience. Ergonomically, really, I would much prefer to hold a 7-inch device, but if you're using some kind of stand or something like that, then this becomes more manageable. Uh, it is nicer because you get more text on the screen. There's that too. And speaking of displays, they are both IPS displays. We have the Super IPS Plus display on the Transformer Infinity TF700, and that guy goes up to 600 nits of brightness for outdoor viewing. Now, you don't have to use super IPS plus mode indoors and burn your eyes, of course, but it's there when you need it. Resolution of this is 1920 by 1200. Resolution of this is 1280 by 800. So that's a lot of resolution for a 7-inch device. And like I said, either one of these is going to be sharp, and both of them, really, very pleasing to look at if you're watching videos or you're looking at photos, that kind of thing, and great for reading books. And interestingly, the Nexus 7 does not do landscape mode in the home screen, but you can do landscape mode if you want. It's just obviously reading is not going to be the ideal thing for landscape mode. Two teeny little facing pages there, but you can do that on both these devices. It does have an accelerometer, and every place but the home screen, you can do both portrait and landscape modes. And just so you can see what it is like to watch videos on these, here's the difference in the screen size. Both of these are 1080p high-profile MPEG videos. They play just flawlessly on both of them. Uh, obviously, a bigger viewing experience here, but again, that's not going to do you any good if it's not in your pocket and you're the kind of person who's going to carry your tablet around the pocket. Both have really striking, nice displays, and both have mediocre speakers. Neither of them gets particularly loud, uh, nor are they particularly full, but they do sound great with headphones, thank goodness, and external speakers. You can use Bluetooth speakers or wired speakers with either of these. Now we're looking at the Chrome web browser on both of these. The Transformer comes with the standard Android web browser, and you can download Chrome. With the Nexus 7, you only get Chrome, and the, the traditional web browser that's come with Android has disappeared, gone MIA, not there, bye-bye. Also, Flash is gone for Jelly Bean, so no Flash on the Nexus 7. Now, you can look around the web and you can find Adobe Flash for Android to download Silo if you want, but so far I haven't found the performance is all that great. It's not going to work inside the Chrome web browser because that, that just does not support Adobe Flash no matter what. So you can use Dolphin or Firefox, something like that, if you want to do Flash. Uh, again, one, once this gets Jelly Bean, it's going to be the same situation and once Adobe stops putting Flash up on the market for newer versions of Android, so sooner or later that will become a moot point and you'll be sideloading either way. In terms of what you see on screen, you, you see what I mean. This right here looks a lot more like what you would see on your notebook in terms of the size of the text being fairly readable. You see a little bit more on the page than you do here. That's because we're doing some pixel scaling. So can keep things readable. It's not going to make everything micro tiny here just because this is a 1920 by 1200 display. But easier to read. So certainly if you're going to spend a lot of your time on the couch or if you're going to be carrying a laptop bag around or some kind of bag, then the bigger screen can certainly be an asset.
Of course, again, it won't fit in your pocket either, will it? No. Both devices have a GPS, and the GPS actually works. Even if you turn off Wi-Fi, you will want to pre-download maps. Uh, neither of these have 3G or 4G, so you're either going to need the mobile hotspot feature on your smartphone, uh, MiFi, or, well, go someplace that does have Wi-Fi if you want to get data. The Nexus 7 has NFC with Google Wallet. There is no NFC on the ASUS Transformer Pad Infinity TF700. Uh, probably with 10-inch tablets, we're not going to see it as much because really you're going to wave a 10-inch tablet at the cash register to try to pay for something. Less likely. Both of them have Bluetooth. Both of them have Wi-Fi. Both of these have full access to the Google Play Store, so you can download applications. And actually, since both are Tegra devices, even though this guy is smaller, it's the first time really we've seen it, you can load the Tegra Zone, you can load Tegra Zone games, all those Tegra 3 optimized games work great. And if you watch our video review of the Nexus 7, you'll see games in action. It plays really well. While the experience might be a little more expansive on a bigger screen, there's something to be said for accelerometer-based games on a 7-inch tablet. It's a lot easier to wave this guy around back and forth to steer your car or something like that than it is a 10-inch tablet. So that's our comparison smackdown of the Google Nexus 7 tablet made by Asus and the Asus Transformer Pad Infinity TF700, both Android tablets that are very nice. And again, biggest difference is here, what size do you want, how much money do you want to spend? And do you want all the creature comforts, lastly, the SD card slot, all that kind of stuff. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Read our review about these devices, watch our video review about these devices, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel.